Welcome to video by DJ Spear C. Today we have the TRX4 Bronco M from Traxxas. Um, I did do an unboxing of this a while back. Uh, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description. If not, just look in my uh, video and you'll see it. And this is a video I uh, was debating if I was going to do or not. <clears throat> Because there's a lot of stuff happening with Traxxas and other YouTubers uh, and part suppliers. And I decided, eh, let's make this. I do have multiple upgrades due to this vehicle here. Um, and uh, yeah, look for the series. Today, the one I wanted to do is the Pro Scale Light Kit that Traxxas makes. Um, I do like it very much. It has the headlight and it has a daytime light, tail lights, uh, reverse light, and hazard lights for your flashers. And it's all, all assembled one kit. It's not something you have to run multiple wires, multiple this. Uh, this is something I do like what Traxxas did. Now, if you're like me, you kind of don't like the Traxxas remote. You often upgrade your remote to something else. Uh, I do have Spectrum. This is one option that wouldn't work anymore because this is controlled by the speed control. Let's remove the top because they do plug in directly to the speed control right here. And that's what controls your complete light. But let's put the vehicle aside. What comes in the kit would be the light kit, new light buckets for the rear, and longer screws for the front. It does come with zip ties, and I do suggest reading these instructions here. Even if you are, you are watching this video, uh, this will tell you a lot more information sometimes. One of the first thing we're gonna do, is there's two screws, one for each, that holds the, let's call it the fake headlights. There's that one. Now be careful at the same time, because you could remove the light bucket. Pop that one aside. Put this down. Now, on the front run right here, they are written right and left. Make sure to put them at the correct one. And you'll notice on the front here, where it's kind of hold, hold together by just melting the, the plastic, they could have put a screw or two, but there is a hole uh, where it lines in the front bucket. That's going to be a little bit hard to show you. Grab our longer screws. I'm able to put it on my screwdriver. There we go. And screw that one in. And now I'm wondering And like I said, this is a little bit pain in the... For some reason, I'm not screwing it in. That means I'm not aligned. Oh, 
Okay. Remember what I said to read instructions? If I would have done that myself personally, I would have found out that there is longer screws. I just couldn't see them. They were stuck in the light buckets that we got to replace the rear ones with. And I'm not sure if you can see it on the table. A lot longer. Now this one's holding. Now we're going to grab the other light bucket. Move this wire aside. Align it. Grab my super long screw. I'm just going to pre on my screwdriver. I think sometimes I'll say to do one thing and personally myself, I'm not going to do it. And then I look a little bit foolish, but nothing's perfect. Now, when you're screwing these screws in, don't force them. Uh, when they're snug, they're snug. There we go. Run my wire underneath here. Same thing with the other one. I'm just going to make sure everything reaches. Yeah. Now what I might do, in the body itself, there's room to pass it be behind this fender uh, holder. Uh, I might do that after. Just unscrew it, run my wires in the back, and then be able to put them here. But now what I'm gonna do is, again, two more screws in the back here to remove. And these guys will be shorter than these. Yes, they are. Not gonna make that mistake twice. It's not terribly hard to install these uh, the light buckets. Pop these guys out. The reason they're giving you more uh, buckets is the stock ones are made to have just one LED. If you don't want to go with the Traxxas light kit, and oop, and you decide, I just want basic, basic LEDs in it. They let you do it. Again, don't do like me. Put the right one with the right and the left with the left. They are indicated and look at that. They hold. <laughs> This, bring this here just to get it out of my way. Okay, these are not indicated right and left. But there's only one way you can install these.
But yeah, I did say like read instruction, things like that. But sometimes more fun trial and error. It is for me. The only thing I hate, there's not a lot of room. I'm going to start my screw. Yeah, I'm really struggling. This is not even funny. Some of you are probably watching this video and laughing. Well, that's okay. If I can entertain you at the same time while showing you something, I'm totally fine with that. There we go. Now I'm going to kind of fold the wire where the uh, spare mount is. That way I don't want it to short. And like I said, what I'm going to do after, I'm going to remove this screw right here and run the wires behind here. That way nothing will hit anything anywhere. I'll do the same for this one here. That way it's directly to it. But once that's done, your light kit's done. I'm just gonna grab my battery that I forgot right here. Now I don't have the remote close by, but we can still initiate the lights. Like that guy in. Now the main lights right here turn on. Now we have the four-way hazards, basically telling us your remote's not plugged in or turned on. But now we'll have the running lights. If in the back. Normal. That's the, now th those are the running lights. Now they're off. Hazards. Running lights and daylights. Would be a lot better if I would have the remote. Unfortunately, I don't have it close by. But this is how you install the Traxxas TRX 9783 uh, light kit on the Bronco. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'd be, I'd be gladly to answer you. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. I do appreciate it a lot. And thank you for watching.